Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have a top 16 match from the Battle of the Gods tournament hosted by the Yu-Gi-Oh! Sports Center, link down below to their YouTube, and we have Michael State, aka Villain Arc, Episode 1, uh, Dadius, da and then going up against Evil Mermails, aka Christian... Is it Rivera? I mean, I have it written down. Uh, honestly, don't know. Yeah, uh, Christian Rivera. And then, also, I gotta say, I have a lot of respect for Michael State. I know you can't see it because my face is here now, but he has the over of the head, over the hedge movie. I don't even know what this is like Korean or something, but they have the over the hedge. And that movie slaps, slaps. But we're gonna see Evil Mermails win the rock paper scissors shoot here. They're gonna go first, 43 versus 42. Opening hands, we have Warlords, Mizuki, Deer Note, Zombie World, and then Sporadio. This card's crazy. This card dumps once per turn, and then if it's banished, you can banish the zombie from the graveyard to summon it back out, but it goes to the bottom of the deck when it leaves field, but, like, who cares? And it's also level 6. Um, you might see why that ends up mattering later. Uh, also, you are going to see more replays from the Battle of the Gods number 2 tournament on the channel. Uh be posting them slowly as the tournament goes on just matches like pl players that i think are good matches that i get sent i'll just be like okay cool po post a couple of these and they have z almond souls called by deer note mare mare so we're going to see the punk adventurer deck versus the zombie punk deck uh playing like warlords with the zombie world a little bit different than we saw nim nim play it at the lgs they're gonna search foxy tune foxy tune effect uh, not Foxtune effect. Yeah, that's fair. They have Deer Note in hand already. You definitely don't want to do that because Foxtune just gets the Deer Note. Deer Note summons itself out like this. You now you're dodging the Ash Blossom on Foxtune. Uh, go for Pepega Ruler. Pepega Ruler 1. Deer Note 2. So summon back. Mill 5. And then grabs Ogre. Also gets Destrudo in the Graver. Playing multiple preps. Playing a lot of souls in their deck. Probably a minimum of 6. And then turn those into Hauk. Hulk effect, and then Hulk is going to go ahead, bring out Red Rose, uh, activate Souls, dump Illusion, special summon out, anything there, nope, no nib, and then go for Herald of Arc Light, Red Rose effect, summon Rocks Rose, Rocks Rose effect, go search out Basil Rose Shoot, and then up next, we're going to activate the Basil Rose Shoot, summon back out Red Rose, and then get rid of those to make Dagda, set called by, and then pass his turn. Okay, um, yeah, I was trying to think if there was any, like, super cool plays that they could do there. Um, to also end on Fleur, like a Destrudo change level technique. If you use it on Herald, it's level 3. If you use it on Souls, it's level 6. If you use it on Red Rose, it's level 4. But you need it to be level 2, so you have to target a level 5. Deer No, but the only way to target Deer No, we didn't have Deer No Destrudo. Okay, so it's not possible to do with Pepega Ruler and Destrudo here to be able to go into Fleur. Um, Pass, Draw Zombie World. They go main phase, just amidst defeat. So, going into the next game, we are going to see Zombie go first. Opening hands, you have Z-Almond, Jackalope, Called by, Scythe, Token Collector. They have Wright, Griffin, Droll, Nib, Rox, Rose. So, normal summon Z-Almond, Z-Almond effect, pay 600, go search Foxy Tune. On res, Droll Chain, Called by, Foxy Tune effect, get rid of itself, and then it doesn't discard its sense, so they're not going to get rid of Jackalope, gets rid of Token Collector, go for Pepega Ruler, Pepega Ruler 1, Deer Note 2, Deer Note, especially when I'm back out Foxy Tune, and then Mill 5. So we see uh, Banshee, wow, hits Banshee and Baller. Said no effect to add back. Yeah, both those are just better in graves than they are in hand in a lot of scenarios, unless you're on like Jackalope discarded somehow. Uh, but obviously, like, you don't know what this is gonna hit. Uh, Vampire Mill, we see Snow, Unizombie, they mill Valor, Ash, Droll, summons back out Unizombie off the Zombie Vampire. 
uh, on that summon, they are going to drop Nib. They could have activated Griffin Chainlink 1, Nib Chainlink 2 if they wanted to, but they do have right, so they can activate right if that goes through, then summon Griffin. Uh, token Collector, bring itself out as a level 4 over just the Nib token. And this also just like puts Collector on board, so that way stuff like right can't be activated. Uh, Jackalope, get rid of sights, summon, draw warlords. Oh my gosh, they have the zombie world warlords goo. Uh, Necro world banshee, go ahead, bring out the zombie world. Set warlords pass. Yeah, there's no need to do a lot more when you just lock your opponent. And I don't know, decks like this are cool because your opponent needs hand traps to stop your engine, but then you have purple cards. Like, Zombie World's also just insane against some decks. Uh, standby phase, bring out Baller, activate Warlords, so that way they can't summon anything but zombies. And then they go into Battle Phase, um, attack Jackalope, End Phase, activate Snow, because this makes everything in Graveyard Zombies too. So it's not like they're trying to summon a Spellcaster with zombies on field. Uh, snow, and then Baller. Uh, Baller is going to banish Snib, draw Nessie. Then put Pega Ruler, banish, summon that uh, 58 plus 18, 50, token collector game, right? 400? Yeah, because that, that's uh, 80 50. So he switch token collector to attack, and we missed the game. Everyone forgets this card gains 400 attack when it pops token. Um, doesn't say, like, opponent's tokens, right, or anything. Dumb destroy as many tokens on board. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, just making sure, just making sure. Um, yeah, Smith's game, pass. They draw souls. Do You see right there, like, if they drew, like, a, a harpies or a twin, like, that could have been really bad. Missing game is not nice. Uh, they could have even just gone like Nessie effect, get rid of itself. Nessie effect goes search, assuming that they have another target. Um, grab Jackalobe or Snake and just normal it. As they didn't think that the token collector getting attacked. But going on to the next game now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to see Adventure Punko first. And opening hands, we have DD Crow, Dark Ruler, Unizombie, Token Collector, Called By. They have Foxy Tune, Mare Mare, Temple, Ash, and Souls. So activate the Temple effect. Banish, go search right. And then activate right, special summon out the token, bring out Fateful, and then drop token collector, uh, token collector, chain link 1, Fateful chain link 2 to add Draco back. It's only that chain link because this is mandatory. Mandatory prompts over, like, turn player gain to activate their effect first. Uh, discard, Griffin summon, unless if they also have mandatory effect. Uh, special summon out Griffin, we discard Mare Mare, Souls Effect, Dump Illusion, Special Summon out, and then Souls Effect to draw. We're just going to get rid of one here, doesn't want to get rid of Draco back, maybe scared of Mystic Mind. You know, you see Field Spells in your opponent's deck and you're like, oh, Terraforming, Terraforming means Mystic Mind. So it draws into Fateful off of Souls, so they are actually playing two Fateful. And then Foxy Tunes, so we can see that they're playing like a stronger engine than most people. They're playing the uh, Many Souls... Uh, they want to draw that card. They're playing two Fateful. Uh, they're going to go Foxy Tune, get rid of itself and Fateful. Bring out Zeomin, Zeomin Effect, pay 600, go search Deer Note. And then uh, go for Halk. Halk Effect to summon. Halk, bring out Red Rose. Red Rose, Griffin into Fleur. Red Rose, go summon. And then we'll get the Rock Shows effect on the summon to search. Grab Basil Rose Shoot. Then activate Basil Rose Shoot. They're thinking in response because they could chain DD Crow to hit Red Rose. Uh, bring that out. Tribute Summon for Deer Note. And then Deer Note, Rock Rose into Popega Ruler. Effects. Summon back out Z Amon. Mill 5. Hit Sight. Souls. Temple. Could leave Scythe and Graveyard for Fleur. They're going to grab Souls. And then get rid of those. Go for Dagda anyways. Banish Light and Dark. Summon out Pepega. And then pass turn. Draw Scythe. It's a lot of Scythe. Standby phase. Fleur effect. Target Scythe. 
In response, Chain called by on Scythe. Fleur negate. They want to do called by first, then DD Crow because called by baits Fleur negate. And now their Scythe won't be negated next turn because called by is negated and we're banishing it with our DD Crow. Uh, they said, Bear on still goes, right? Well, if you read over it, it says, once returned during the standby phase, you can target a level 9 or lower monster in your graveyard. Return this card to the extra, and if you do special summon that monster. So yes, this would indeed return back, as it is going to try to resolve as much as possible in this scenario. So it returns back. Normal summon Unizombie. Uh, they're thinking on the summon. They're going to go Hulk effect, tag out, summon formula, formula effect to draw. Draws into illusion. Yeah, I don't like all of like how how many souls they're playing and everything. Cause they're playing at least six. Unizombie effect, target Unizombie. Um depending on what they I mean they they could have another synchro ten, like I mean they could make fluor, that's that's true, but it's not gonna do anything. Uh they could make a different synchro ten though. They're gonna ash the Unizombie. And then, you know, zombie other effects, send from hand by getting rid of scythe. Turns those into Pepega Ruler, Pepega Ruler effects. I I mean, you definitely were supposed to Dark Ruler, right? Oh, okay, but there's going to Pepega Mill. Uh, mill 5. Oh my gosh! We hit Spirito, Unizombie, Unizombie, Zeom, and Token Collector. So, Pepega Ruler, add back Unizombie. I forget, um, the TG has to banish a fairy from graveyard, correct? Yes, I want to say so, I'm like 99% sure, so that wouldn't have came up there. I don't feel like it's one off field, I feel like I'd remember that if it was, um, and then they could make Supreme, the Sword Soul guy. But they're just going to go ahead, battle phase, attack over Pepega Ruler, and then pass turn with only token collectors and eruption. They draw e Telly. They go main phase, temple, banish, go search, grab right. And then normal summon out the Magician's Souls. Uh, Souls effect, get rid of Draco back and right to draw two. Draws into e Telly called by. And then go in the dark. Okay, dark effect, summon Unizombie. Unizombie effect, dump Ash Blossom. Not playing, but imagine. I mean, it could, but this has a restriction on it, so they wouldn't do that. Go for Selene. Uh, Selene effect, gain counters to doing this. That way, access code gains an extra thousand. And then effect, remove counters, summon back out souls. And then get rid of those. Oh, it also makes Herald of Arc Light. And then the e Telly. But that's not even good because you have access code Herald. It's not even game. Okay, activate e Telly to summon. I guess they can get extra bodies. So, thought I had Ogre. They only play one Z Amen. Oh, do they, are they just doing the one Z Amen, one Deer Note, one Foxy, three E Telly package? Oh my gosh! So they're playing with not as many punks. That's where they're fitting like more soul stuff in. Oh, I'm out. You no, know, the punk stuff is like it really is the deck. Like Brave Token cards are very important in this deck. I would say they are very close second, but Punk is the most important package in the deck. Thought I had Ogre, so they had nothing to summon off Italy. They played one target, and they went through it already. That is unfortunate. Doesn't have Ogre. Uh, make access code, affecting attack. I mean, like, I don't know. This deck can play two illusion if you want to, but I don't think you play the prep then. Um, it's not even bad. Like... You play one illusion, one souls, or you could play two illusion, two souls. I don't think you play the prep stuff at all, though. Uh, if you play two illusion, you know, you always get the herald search. So you can end on herald pretty often, especially when you're playing the mare mare. 
Um, access code getting attack, access code pop, go into battle phase, attack for 53, and then we're going to set called by set e tally pass turn, they draw snow, go main phase, Pepega ruler effect, banish, banish, chain called by on it. They don't even understand though the fact that that was horrible. You're supposed to let Pepega ruler go through, right? And then you called by you and a zombie. Now that sounds also horrible because then you get how comboed. Um, they put themselves in a really bad spot. Um, cause now they're gonna activate their zombie effect, banish you and a zombie, summon it out, and then they can activate that effect, and then we'll go ahead and foolish burial any zombie from the hand or deck to the graveyard, dumps Mizuki, and then normal summon you and a zombie, you and a zombie effect to discard, discard snow, target itself, and then go into floor. Because that's getting in a level. That's why I said like that would come up. Um, and it will come up there. Uh, floor effect. Pop access code. Battle phase. Yeah and this is just controlling the game. Attack. It's very big. Uh, pass. Draw ash blossom. And then they are going to set. Oh man they're setting monsters. That's not good. They're setting ash. Pass. Draw destrudo. Go main phase, floor pop, battle phase, attack, and then they can activate snow effect to attempt to go for a game here. You could have also Mizuki. Uh, I guess you can Mizuki summon you a zombie for game there. Unless if you summon you a zombie, no, because if you use the effect to send from deck. Wait, they did that last turn though, right? Hold on. How did Mizuki get into grave? No, Mizuki got into graveyard through. Uh, through uh, Spaceman, I forget his name. Uh, yeah, because if you use the effect to send from deck, then you can't attack with anything but zombies. So I brought that up earlier. I said, oh, go dark, dark effects on Ash. But like, then you can't attack with anything but zombies. Uh, so GG's, GG's. Yeah, flipping the e All He has all three e -tellies. Very close, very close to say, yeah. Um, but... We're going to see what the match was about the 48 minutes long. And that was the top 16 match. It wasn't really top 16. It was kind of like top 24 because there was, I think, 32 players in the tourney. But eight of them had buys. So it was like top 24. But I'm just calling it like... I don't even know. It was like the top, because like the top 24 and the top 16 just sounds so bad because you'll be like, what? How? So, I don't know. I'm just going to call it top 16 to be honest uh, and just let it ride. But with that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.